what? Good success. I pray that your success will be good this morning. You will have good success in every department of your life in the name of Jesus. If I say name, let your hymn be better than this. In case you are guilty of what I said earlier, don't worry. The mercy of God is available. God corrects to help. Are we together? Never take pride in sin. Don't do it. You did this. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If when they speak wrong words over your life, it will never stay because you have already passed the principle of a contract heart and a broken spirit. God will not despise. It's not all causes that stays. It's not all blessings that stays. But what is born out of sacrifice is a lot of trouble. Joshua 1 and verse 8. He said, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate there in day and what? Night. He said, Then shall you, you shall make your way prosperous. And you will observe to do what is written in it therein. Is that so? He said, Then shall you make your way prosperous. And you shall have what? Good. Now, when the Bible talks about good success, it means there are successes that are bad. And the Bible is beginning to teach us here. He said, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall what? Meditate day and night to observe and to do what is written in it. And then shall make your way prosperous. It means. There are principles to have our way prosperous. And there are principles to actually have good success. Good success is not an overnight thing. Making our ways prosperous is not an overnight thing. The Bible begins to teach us that there are principles that are actually outlined in scriptures that you must know, that you must meditate, and that you must engage in it before your way will become prosperous and you begin to have good success. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. You shall meditate therein day and night. And to observe and to do what is written in it therein. Then you will make your way prosperous and you begin to have good success. There is nobody here who desires failure. But not everybody that desires success ever see it. Why are you not successful? The way you are supposed to be. How come your ways are not prosperous? The Bible begins to open our eyes to see that good success, making all your ways prosperous, is not directly proportional to good face. It's not directly proportional to what you think you know. It's directly proportional to applying the kingdom principles and principles that is actually outlined in scriptures. The Bible says here that a man that is diligent in his business, he shall start before kings. There is no man that is diligent in what he's doing. It's a scriptural law. When you are not, whatever that you are doing and you are not diligent in it, you will never stand before quality people. I lead prayer like a king. I lead prayer with diligence. I preach with my heart with diligence so that I can stand before kings. When every assignment given to you is done shabbily, is done casually, you will never stand before quality people. Never! It's a scriptural law. Principles need to be fulfilled before all your ways become prosperous and before you begin to have good success. Principles need to be fulfilled. Principles need to be kept. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. You shall meditate day and day and night. It shall what? Now you shall observe to do all that is written in it. Then will it make your way prosperous. Your way will never become prosperous only when you are prayerful. No. This is a problem with the African mentality. You think prayer can do all things. Yes, prayer can do all things. But answer prayer manifests in some keeping to some principles. See as that a man that is diligent in his business. Example number one. You can't be diligent in your business and God will not keep promoting you. Let me say this. No king looks for people that offer services anyhow. Best service are served in the palace. Yeah. 
the best of services are served where? In the palace. When your service is not best, your, the quality of your service needs help. They won't send for you in the palace. And in the palace is where they recognize good success. Imagine now, there is a convention in Asorok. And among all the million pastors we have in this country, they only call me to lead opening prayer. Opening prayer. Open, just not to preach. They say, Pastor David Shaladri, welcome Pastor David Shaladri from Turning Africa Assembly, Kubwa, Abuja, to lead us in opening prayer. I say, may we rise. And while he's rising, I say, may you remove your cap. In the name of Jesus, it's time to pray. I cannot gain less than 15 to 20,000 followership on Facebook that day. How many of you agree with me? Because they will know that if, before I can go there and lead opening prayer, I must have some good connection. So people will want to connect with me because my service is required in the palace. When your service is not required in the palace, see, don't console yourself that you are doing well. A local champion is still a failure. Because good success is not what we can actually tag with you. They won't write your story. They will only make you say example. Say, yeah, he tried. He said so bold in this He tried. Ah. That's Brother David tried. He strived to save Zobo in Duse. And the Zobo that you sell in Duse, nobody is buying it in Kubwa. Nobody will buy it in Metama. It means there's something you are doing around that Zobo that they are not inviting you in quality places. How many of you have tasted something before and you want to know the source? I drank, you, I drank a bottle of you got yesterday and I said, I said, this you got to not last. They say, why do I say so? I said, this quality is too rich. A little bottle, very short bottle, 600 naira. I said, it don't last. People don't pay for quality here. Yeah, they pay for quantity. And for the person to keep in business, he has to do some, pro not, uh, he, has, he needs to do a little, a little bit of flow charts to come with a new procedure so that I can do product development so that you can, how many of you have actually worked in some company before that they just look for what is obtainable around the area so that people can buy into them? Uh, every business does like that. Rolls Royce is not for everybody. Rolls Royce is only, is only a car fabricated for the kings, for monarchs. How many of you have entered Rolls Royce before? And that company has never run dry once. The only people they reach out to are only the what? The monarchs. I've only seen one before. I've never entered. Many of my service is not better served yet than is ever needed in the palace. See, yes, that, now, you see, success is not overnight. And if it is in your mind not to be successful, congratulations. The camp of failure is always plenty. But the room for the successful is also wide. Every, everyone here can become successful. And yet, the heaven will not fall. How many of you are pastors here? Let me see your hand. Do you see why I'm a success? You see this as you're successful? How many of us are lawyers here? Let me see your hand. Only one barrister. So if he's a successful lawyer, did you see that the space is wide? How many of us are accountants here? Did you see the space is wide? There's no competition. Are we together? There's no what? If you will not right now, see as that a man that is diligent in his business, he shall stand before what? Okay. Excuse me, sir. Everything you do, if you don't have the mind of quality, before I came in here, I sit to put together something that is quality that if, some, if somebody here is where, they will say everybody in that church is being taught well. I have over 200 messages on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Bulk of the persons who listen to it are not actually from Nigeria. 
80 percent the statistics of the people that responded to the messages i preached here that is actually recorded and is put on youtube and all of those platforms the bulk of the people who listen to it are not from nigeria and i've gotten back amazing response somebody listened to one of the message i preached in the marriage class the person wrote me and he said can i send you money I just want to give you a love offering. I enjoy what you preached. The person sent me $50. He said, I just enjoy what you preached. My wife was in the car that day. We were driving to see one of my uncle. Yes. We were driving and he said, God bless you. I listened to this social message. Can I send you an offering? I call it love offering. And the person sent me $50. In church that day, nobody even gave me one air. The Holy said, Amen, and they go. But I know the, what I put into it. I put my heart into it. That it doesn't matter the category of the people who ever listen to it. It will still minister to them. When you are singing with the mentality of let me just do it and leave. When you leave prayer with the mentality of just let me just do it and leave. If you don't get better with the things you do, that your service can be required in the palace. You are mediocre. A failure. You won't go far that way. Many of us have prayed to rise. We don't rise anyhow. We rise by a lot of principles. You want to be successful? Diligence is key. I've not even got into the principles. I only put that as an example. Because that's not even the beginning. You want to be successful? Make a way prosperous and enjoy good success anything and everything you have to offer must be served with royalty. You must keep getting better in the things that you do so that your services will be required in the palace. It is in the palace good money is. Are we together? If I go and lead open prayer just in a convention that the president will be sitting, Father, in the name of Jesus, just open prayer. There's nobody who has gone to lead open prayer there that they ever allowed to come back empty-handed. Open prayer of how many minutes? Maybe three to five minutes. Back of them comes with Gala must go. How many of you have brought Gala must go for me before? Now, I'm not undermining our sacrifice. I'm only telling you a system of reward that exists. There are people you will meet. And the people that hold treasures are not ordinary people. There are people who have kept to principles over the time. That when you appear before them, you need to present something that is valuable. Huh? You need to present something that is what? Valuable for you to assess their treasure. If you don't have anything valuable, you cannot assess the treasure, the good treasure of people. No, no. I used to bab before in said drug shop. But in that shop, I know they won't last. It's a business that will crash with time. It's recorded. Play it for them, I said so. They do things so anyhow that even one of them that will come and barbie sometimes is already drunk. The kind of song they played. So rough that anybody can just come in and go in and then you see the level of disorderliness. And you say, Nigeria is not easy. No. The fact that Nigeria is not easy does not make you stupid. There are quality people who know how to bab there. But they fail the principle of royalty. And I've, ever since I go there, I've never seen quality people come to Bab. It's taught like them. So I did that to Bab. And I went to this place. They brought one new guy here. And then, if that guy Bab you, you want to sleep. Why is Bab you sleep? When that guy Bab me once, the second time I was going, I took Shedrach to follow me to come and see. I took Shedrach there to come and say, sit down. Watch how this guy does it. And I don't know the anointing that rubbed upon that guy that day. We began to play some Christian songs. And then I was just enjoying the thing. The anointing was flowing. The guy was babbing. That guy did not need to do advert for me anymore. I already see a place that has what I want. You know, after the guy babbing the first time, I was already preparing more than what the guy would require to give. How much the bab there was not how much I offered. Because his service was good. 
So if he's waiting for the people that bring to 200 naira, he will soon crash. But there are some people who bab once who will give 2,000. So when you are not babbing the people who will give 2,000, now if you are collecting 200 naira per one person, and you say, I'm making it. Before you bab 10 person to get 2,000 naira, you will have borne enough way, you have wasted your metal credit, you have even wasted your strength. You can't bab 10 persons and not need a break. But imagine that you bab one person, quality delivery, and the person look at you and say, take 5,000. Before you get 10,000 babbing children. So that's why you need to have your, your, your services with dignity, with royalty, that when it's properly served, you are genuinely rewarded. Success does not happen overnight. No, sir. No. Don't do things any and expect to be rewarded. No, sir. No. Women being are not stupid. There are people who have millions in this church, but they won't give me. Then because I'm not I'm not qualified enough to receive from them. And in all honesty, it's not a problem. I keep working on myself. A day will come, it's only praise the Lord that will say, you will empty the account. I know it's coming. Not because I will rob you, because I will have delivered value enough. So, success necessarily, this is what I'm trying to say, success necessarily obeys what? Principles. This book of the law, this is what I'm trying to explain. Are we learning now? Are we together now? I mean, are we together? If we are together, say amen. If we are together, say hallelujah. This book of the law, read Joshua 1 8 for me. This book of the law shall not what? Depart out of thy mouth. Is that so? You shall meditate therein day and night to observe and to do all that is written therein. He said, then you shall make you a prosperous and you shall have what? There are successes that is only your room. You feel the impact. If you buy TV now, who's feeling your impact? Amen? But if you buy a large screen, your room cannot even take it. You have to put it outside. And every other person that pass we we'll see it. Is that so? In the days when we were growing up, color TV is a miracle. Yeah. If some of you are born in the time I was born, my father happens to be a medical practitioner, so he has, he has a clinic, so he was able to afford that kind of uh, he was able to afford uh, that kind of TV that they used to open and close. How many of you know that TV they used to open and close? All right. They open it and close it. And NTA only come up 4 p.m. and they'll close after network news. Because there was no even light to even power the thing. So NTA, oh glory. In those days when uh, this color TV used to come, if you have color TV in your house, and then in those days, in those days when we were growing up, when my father has that this thing, anytime they own the TV, that 4 p.m. that the station will be on. And there was nothing called video where you can watch anything. Now, in those days, people in the neighborhood will come and still watch TV with you. And if those people are elderly than you, you that your father owes the house, you can sit on the chair, you will sit on the floor. It's those elder brother in the community. They will sit down because they don't have TV. How many people who have TV in the area where we're staying that time? They're about three. About, yes, about two. My father and one other counselor. And it's the open and closed TV. In the days when this thing came out, video, where they put the cassette, the thing will rewind back. You buy Rwanda, you buy. How many of you met those nonsense? If we are still in those days, those years, we'll have been so backward. Things are really changing now. Even on your phone, you can watch any other TV you want to watch at the comfort of your room. Things are changing. If your if your if your product or whatever you are doing is not genuinely served with quality, royalty and dignity, you cannot stand before quality people, and that's where the good reward are. There are people who preach in one place once and they give them fifty million. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 
and there are some who will not be as serious as I am. You know, there's a way you are blessed. You don't even need to shout. Amen. Glory to God. The grace of God is with you. Just listen behind me. And he said, Pastor, God bless you. Just... Success necessarily. Success obey principles. Success obeys what? If you will not keep to the principles, you will never be successful. Never! There are principles that govern marriage. Don't think you know. Don't let Nollywood deceive you. Don't let what you read on the internet deceive you. There are a lot of bad things that are there. You say, I want to marry like this celebrity. No, sir, don't be like. Come up with biblical principles to actually have your marriage secured. One key that has kept my marriage now is that we have biblical principles. And that's why I apologize to my wife easily. Biblical values. And it brought peace. There's a scripture my wife used to quote anytime I'm hungry. So when you see my wife, you don't get angry. The Bible said, anger lies in the bosom of. I know some fools will raise it where. Amen. Glory to God. How many of us are wise here? Anger lies in the bosom of. You don't want to answer again. All right. I just put that on him free of charge. Now listen to this. Anytime I'm angry, my wife will say, you know the Bible say, when, my wife, when I hear, you know the Bible say, I know where she's going. That the moment of being angry is the moment of, she will humbly say it where you will not be, get angry. He said, the Bible said, so the moment of being angry is the moment of, and I know you are not foolish. Do you know the meaning of that? That's politely simply saying you are, oh, Glory. Uh, how many of you want by people to quote Bible to you when you are angry? When you hear anger lies in the bosom of and you truly believe the Bible, you see that, the, that what, what will happen immediately? That anger will die. And if the Bible is actually the reason why your angers are suppressed, you are blessed. But when you tell somebody anger lies in the bosom of fool, you say, and so, ah, if you marry that one, uh, I love you, you will turn and slap you easily. There are principles that govern marriage. There are principles that govern money. There are principles that govern work. There are principles that govern organizations. There are principles, if you will not keep to those principles, let me lay this foundation, you will never be successful. Never! Never. He says, sister, this dress well. You don't have to dress like this. He said, no, God is in my heart. There are principles that govern fashion. You really need to keep to a lot of principles to become successful. Are we together? Can I close? Let me stop here because I want to have a little bit of time in the marriage class. We didn't do that last week so I want to have about 10 minutes so that we'll prepare for the evening meeting. How many of you are happy with me? All right. There are principles. If you will not keep to those principles, you will never, never be what? Be successful. This book of the law shall not depart from thy mouth. You shall meditate therein day and night. Is that so? To observe and to do all that is written therein. Then you will make your way prosperous and you shall have what? Good success. Don't wish to make your way prosperous. Don't wish to have good success. Rather, labor to understand the principles that are needed so that you can actually have. You can make your way prosperous and you have what? Glory to God. Glory to... Let me stop here. How many of us want to be successful? How many of us want good success? Let me see. No, the vocation is not compulsory. How many of us want good success? Raise up your hand. Now listen to this. Understand that there are principles to this. And be ready to follow the principles. The moment you keep to principles, your way of becoming prosperous and having good success becomes a reward. Am I sensible here? What, let me tell you one. I just told you one of the principles. 
It's the principle of diligence. We are going to consider that. It's going to be one of our core costs at the cost of the month. If you are not diligent, ha, ah, sorry, you won't go before kings. Forget it. You are in the choir, they say Riaza is three o'clock, and then you are coming, you are coming like 30 minutes late. You know, people who go late to any meeting, don't worry. There's a level of success they will never see. It's not a cause. It means they are not disciplined enough. One of the principles of good success and making your prosperous is discipline. We are going to talk about that too. Diligence, discipline, and all of that. People who are not disciplined, there's a level of success you will never see. If I'm going to go by logistics around me, I'm not supposed to be in church this morning. A lot of things are around me. A lot of things are even rolling on my mind that is not even healthy to preach. But I have to suspend all that is doing me to be here. Have I preached well this morning? Did you reflect that I have issues pending? Did you reflect that I have any issue pending? That's how to be successful. When you don't know how to transit from situation to situation to keep at the pace of the things you are doing, you won't be successful. Why are you not in church this morning? I slept late. Ah! Who do you think marked your time coming to church? Pastor? No, sir. It's God. Who marked time? Who marked the time? Talk now. It's God. No mind, Pastor. As I come, I come. No, no. no. Principle needs to be kept. If you don't see barista in church, know there's a problem. If barista is not in church, you will conclude, it's me that you know that. There's a problem. There's one time, I don't could bear me witness. As I was out in church on Wednesday, and by, if you see barista come late, you know there's a problem. Know it. You already know why, because he has built that pedigree over time. That if he comes late, you find that what's the problem? If you didn't see him in church, ask him what's the problem. He will tell you that there is there is this, and you will know when he, when he opens his mouth to tell you, you will know. Is there a problem? Now, to that you have kept a level of pedigree, and I think he's successful with time. And there are things you are qualified for. Can I hear you say amen to that? Please, let's be diligent in all that we do. The law of timing and discipline, we'll, we'll, think, we'll talk about it later. If you want to really be successful, no timing. Be disciplined, be diligent. We'll talk about those principles. But go home with this. Introduction to our message for the month. There are principles to make your way prosperous and to have what? Good success. It is my prayer. In the name of Jesus, that you will be successful.